Welcome to Dr. Dispatch Tutorials. In this video we're going to work on putting data in Dr. Dispatch prior to load entry. It would be your shippers, receivers, customers, carriers, trucking side that would also include drivers. Start with brokerage first. You can put customers, shippers, receivers in on the fly by selecting new customer or in this case new shipper or new receiver. But first let's learn to do this with a direct entry process and learn the fields that are there and what we need to use these components of this data. Uh, to put in a new carrier just simply go to the carrier tab. Notice the cursor is flashing ready to search LO load my truck wonder W to search and see if something's there before you add it in, which is always a good thing to do. In this case, let's just hit new. We're going to get a screen for the carrier because there's so much data in entry, including the equipment type, so we have a uh, screen reserved for that. Uh, this carrier will use, uh, try to keep things generic here. Of course, you just tab once again. Federal ID dashes is put in there automatically. MC number if you have the packet or the paperwork in front of you. The address, once again, address 1 is a minimum. Address 2 if there's a building or suite. City, state, zip. Phone numbers, there again, no dashes, just the numbers will take care of the rest. and of course facts. Contact name 1 and 2 if you happen to have two contacts. Emails are handy because we can't email a rate confirmation and this is pretty self-explanatory. Now print on check as. If you're going to use QuickBooks you have the ability to put in ABC trucking or carrier in this case Acme trucking into QuickBooks but when it comes time to pay the truck, it may be a factoring company, and you could put 123 factoring as to who the check's going to go out to. Now, that's again everything else self explanatory if you know the cargo and have the policy in front of you for the amounts, expiration, same for liability. Uh, if you want to take the time to do equipment type with check marks, that's fine. Uh, at any rate, big thing. You can't pay a carrier, especially with QuickBooks, if you don't have a billing address. Once again, we have a company name, but it could end up that the check's going to a factoring company, which we would have a completely separate address and name. Print on check as plus the address. Uh, in most cases, copy billing. Copy to billing will be sufficient just to take the address we've entered for the physical, pop that over, and that puts everything in the billing side. This way, we can get to the invoicing. You'll have the data you need to, to process on over to QuickBooks. Can't do it without addresses. And at this point, you save it. And we've got Acme Trucking here, as you can see, and added in. Pretty easy. Customer, try to keep this short. We'll get started, but we won't go all the way through it. A little different here. We don't supply a screen. Customer name, we'll use something like Kraft Foods. There again, address one can't send freight bills without an address. And make up a zip code here. Phone numbers, the same scenario. Fax, contacts, emails. But once again, the important part, don't finish this or don't consider this finished until you copy the physical address to the billing. Got to have this is where we pick up the billing address. You may have hundreds of Kraft Foods locations with say well we could add another one here Kraft Foods this is an example people ask about this a lot uh, Champaign Illinois uh, so you can, for example and this will stand out and you'll have maybe hundreds of these but the bills could all go to the same place and probably will therefore physical address is separate from billing if it's not you can copy it over if it is a different address, you'll need to fill it out. Um, one final thing, we'll get into this in a later video, but you have the ability to attach a salesman to 
a customer pay him on the gross money on the load or the brokerage on the load and he would get with a decimal point a percentage and that would be for every load booked on this Kraft Foods every one normally most people pay commissions off of who covers a load so on and so forth but if you have a salesman he's going to get a piece of the pie every time you do it here and then from here on when these loads are used with this customer there will be a record entered for him to get paid on through the salesman payroll system which is here there again we'll get into this in a, in a future video but people will wonder what that is and since we're covering customer entry we might as well do it here once again shippers receivers even less data no reason to go through this just hit new put in the name of shipper and tab through with it. You'll need a phone, an address, city, state, zips optional for shipper. If you're going to use a mileage device, it's essential. Um, there again, contact. Comments are used a lot for driving directions. And we'll show you also when you have a shipper receiver on a load, you double click and you can bring up those notes very easy to get directions, cautionary information, watch the turn off because there's a, a shallow shoulder or something of that effect. Anyway, shippers, receivers, hit the new button, enter the data, customers same way, carriers as well, and when all four of these are in, then a person can enter a load. Uh, once again, we'll pop through a load real quick. It was going to use what's in here, new load, carrier, uh, well let's say we do know the carrier, uh, we'll use the Acme we just put in. So I spell AC, tab out, cargo's expired, liability, so on and so forth. Um, customer, we'll use the craft, champagne. Um, if I would have had phone numbers, of course, they would have pulled up. We're going to do a pallet exchange load. You can use your up and down arrows in these lists to do selection as well. Uh, equipment reefer reference number. I'm waiting on my fax or email. I don't know that yet. Dispatcher who covered it. Uh, possibly up to two people involved. Uh, miles, once we know what it is, look it up and put it in, whatever. When we get down to the uh, sh shipper, we're just going to use stuff that's in here. Today's date. Tab through. Use the down arrows up and down. Go to here. Um, I'm going to just use the calendar this time. Make it do the 18th at 0600. At this point, we're done with the load. No, I don't want another shipper. Here's the rate. Let's say I got paid by the miles in this case. $1.62 on $6.55. Just guessing here, of course. Uh, $75 I get for unloading on that and I've got a rate. Carrier rate, there again, you can leave it zero or load coming out of New Jersey, move that for $800. Gives your people something to look at or work with. That's all there is to put a load in. Rate confirmation, print it. Tell us what you want to see on the confirmation. Some people don't want to show phone numbers or directions or pickup numbers. That way the driver has to call dispatch before he is sent on his way. Ensures the check call. Great confirmation. Been out there a lot of years with this. A lot of people recognize it. Who to fax? You know your fax number for your carrier. Refer to this bill or invoice number. Your rate to the truck. Pickup drop info. Legalities. Place for signatures. You can print it. There again. Email it. Save it to PDF. So on and so forth. Okay. At this point, let's jump over um, to trucking. Now, now we'll say this once again date entry easy load entry easy what do I do with the load beyond that well you got the load board there again red are available need to be covered yellow the guy took my load truck hasn't called me for dispatch so caution green he's dispatched going down the road also be aware that all these columns are sortable carrier alphabetically Z to A A to Z any column can be shorted anyone good thing about sorting is it also groups. If you have more than one carrier or more than one load on a carrier, it would be listed here one to several times so you can group them and see who's got what or uh, customers or shipping out of a 
origin. What have I got out of Denver? I've got three loads out of that facility today. All this can be done as well as uh, some uh, rather advanced things with grouping. Drag a column up and drop it. You'll see the status is grouped as such on the load board. There's a three assigned loads, one available, two dispatch. Drag that column back down and put things back to normal. Just a, a little FYI there. Find a truck. I need to know who's went from Colorado for me to anywhere. I've got I've got a load there and I'm stuck. I hit search. It's going to give me everybody that's come out of Colorado and hauled a load in the past. Very handy. There again, sortable, even by phone numbers, so on and so forth. You could also put in a destination and narrow that down even further. There again, future videos will get more into this sort of thing, searches, so on and so forth. At this point, let's go to truck dispatch just quickly. Same thing, only different. <laughs> going to have the same customer entry situation, shippers and receivers the same, and they are shared between trucking and brokerage. If you've got a customer here, you're going to be able to see it on the brokerage and vice versa. Uh, same with shippers and receivers. Drivers are the only thing that's unique to trucking, just like carriers are unique to the brokerage. New driver. Uh, some people don't want to put fo social securities in, you know, with, with privy data and so forth and prying eyes. That's up to you whether you use a social or not. Put in a guy's there again, self-explanatory. Addresses, city, state, so on and so forth. Is the HADMAT qualified? Status, not so important, really. Company, really driver type's not that important. Uh, at this point, we'll, we'll leave him as a company. Yes, he's active. Hire date, termination, date of birth, CDL, physical, driver's license number. And if you're going to use driver payroll, decide when and how you're going to pay him. Like in this case, mileage. I'm going to pay him 38 cents a mile loaded, and I'm paying 38 empty. If you don't put in an empty pay amount, he'll get nothing for deadhead miles. Whether you're going to use per diem, whether you're going to add on stops. Free deadhead is where a driver agrees to say give you 50 miles on every load where you don't pay him for the deadhead or 75 or 100. Some people use this, most don't. Um, percentage this is easy to set up. There again, always use a decimal point. Really, all there is is putting in a driver. Uh, equipment. Actually, I said drivers were the only unique thing between trucking and brokerage. Of course, equipment as well. Trucks, trailers, new truck. There again, got to have a unit number. The year, make, model, and license plate. Put it in as you get it, but if you just need to get down and dirty, get a truck and use it, give me a unit number and save it good enough. Uh, we also keep track of the federal DOT inspection, trucks and trailers. We also have a way to filter for drop loaded trailers. There's things we'll get into in the future on here. Uh, oil change. You put in the last service, what was on the odometer or, or hubometer, say it had 50,000 miles on it, and I want to do 15,000 miles on, oil, on an oil change, or I'm sorry, pardon me. This is how many miles are currently on the oil as you start on your first one. And then you're going to come down here and put in the interval of 15,000. Now every time you put this truck on a load, you're going to take the trip and deadhead miles, add that to this, and when you surpass 15,000 it will advise you and then continue to tell you how many miles over you are on your service. So pretty easy to set up. Give me the, the last service miles roughly how many miles are on this current first oil change, how often you want to change it. Trucking loads are no different than brokerage loads. We'll pop through one real quick. Don't know the driver, truck, or trailer. If you did, you'd just select them from the list. And there again, customer, just, just like over on the other side, spell to locate, special commodity equipment, reference number, dispatcher, if you want to keep track of that sort of thing. We'll there again, do the craft. When I say that, I don't have craft as a shipper. There again, use today's date. Tabbing through until it drops down to the stop. Anything you want to put in there, whatever you need. We're just going to pass on through here and get this over with. It's the same as brokerage on the date entry. No, I don't want another stop. Rate, just flat rate this. Put in a fuel surcharge. In this one, calc it up. I'm 
my screen resolution set a little bit too small here and hit OK there. Now we've got a load there again load board works a lot like the brokerage you can sort see everything is available assign dispatch one thing about trucks that's different worth noting as you build your list of units in here you will see what is in store for each truck truck 1200T is a well, essentially should be on this first load dispatch. The second one technically should be assigned, and that's his reload. And you could have several reloads. In this economy, nobody wants to see a truck set empty or become available. So we try to pre-book that freight, put it in the system, put the truck on as soon as you book it. The load board under trucks will tell you what's booked for each unit. You don't have to be asking everybody in the office all the time, do you have a load for truck 1200 when he gets to wherever? This will tell all that for you right there. Um, at this point we're going to go ahead and break off to the next video which will take in invoicing uh, there again data entry is easy each side carrier customer shipper receiver trucking we need customer truck trailer driver in place of the carrier and a shipper receiver of course you can always have multiple loads on, on a doctor dispatch load you can put in all you want add in the the facility. Uh, you can come over here and highlight. This is a pick. We, it's not going to make sense to have a pick drop at a pick, so I'm going to highlight this, hit the up arrow, and make that the second pickup. You can do this and edit this any way it needs to be. Thanks for watching. We'll